Welcome to Post to Flack. Join us as we explore temples, churches, historic monuments, and eat some great food. But make sure you stay all the way to the end because in this episode we give away the coveted Brian Discovers Food Approved Must Eat. And that is a menu in an unexpected place. I'm so glad to be giving this one away. So, join us for the full adventure or jump ahead to your favorite bit by hitting the chapter buttons below in the description. Situated on the east coast of Mauritius, let's start with the temple. Let's go explore Poster Flag. Shoes off. This is the original guava tree, but it is an island and it's named after this guava tree. Remember when I said earlier this was the original guava tree? I was a little bit wrong on that. Apparently, there's a hole behind me there. temple that we were just in, really windy. This behind me is the old kiln, we're gonna try and find our way there. We're leaving the temple area, hopefully it's not too windy. So someone's made a whimsical garden, look at that cool cannon. Old lime kiln, this is actually one of the heritage sites of Mauritius. This lime kiln behind me was used for the cemetery. Stairs still look pretty good. Let's go make our way up it a bit. Okay, don't mind me if I'm not looking at you guys, because I'm actually climbing up the kiln here. So you can see Ricky's behind me, because I'm not very good at filming and climbing things. We're almost at the top. So this is the top. Wow, quite a view from up here. And we're going to see what's in the middle. So up, up and over. Hopefully we can see something. Awesome. As they quite often say, the getting up's the easy part. Getting back down, that might be a little bit difficult. Let's see which happens. I'm letting the camera run even though Ricky is recording from the bottom. Well, that wasn't as hard as it seemed. National monument you can just climb up. I really should fence and preserve these things. <laughs> Let's go see if we can actually see into it. Looks like the only way in is to crawl in through that hole. Down the rabbit hole. Ah, actually, ah, ah, I can't get in, it's too narrow. But that's what we saw from the top, so I'm just gonna flip this so we can see up a bit. This building is not on Google Earth. I don't know, but this is original. It's as original as the lime kiln. Now that looks familiar up ahead. These look a little bit like our train coal storage bin or the wood that they used for the lamb. It is another mystery. Beautiful trees to frame a church. Probably not this church, but there was a church here since 1734. Come off. Who knows? Ah, oh, I found it. Don't worry, guys, I found it. This really looks original. 
the grass next. This is probably the building that sat next to the railway line. So you can clearly tell from the stones behind me, this is the original building. And the railway line would have come through there, where Ricky is standing, all the way past. Here at the old train station. The stone wall is just buried here. Wow, wow, wow. It's a facade. Laid on top of the rubble. Look at that beautiful stonework. So it's pretty cool that we found this building. Okay, so that's the train station behind us. We're leaving that behind and going to look for something else. So there's another park up front there. We are playing ball. Oh, 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 oh. So we've now found the original post office. Another building. This, this place is just full of history. It's got a domed roof, which is a bit unusual. It must be a storage or animal shed. Behind me is another one of these stone walls. This is an aqueduct. This would have brought water in. Something. <gasps> exactly how it looked with the train station. Well, we're here at the old building and we're going to get something to eat. We are full table in the actual old train station. Chili, soy sauce, and lemon. Garlic. Ooh. Thank you. The alim was uh, of mutton. So that's the halim. First trial. Mutton halim in the train station in post place. Girl Pavi. Girl Pavi. Girl Pavi. Yeah. Uh, surprise fish, not a gadget at all. Okay, so this is a whole fish with some onion and some chili and some fries with it. wonderful things to discover in the villages. If you've got some suggestions of some great places to go, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to get out there and explore some more. In the meantime, if you've enjoyed this, I have a couple of others of the other villages in Mauritius that I have visited. Uh, check them out. And as always, thanks for watching.